Google Ads Tutorial for Beginners Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be telling you how you can use Google Ads to grow your business. Now before I begin I just want to say that if you want to learn more about Google Ads then click the link down in the description below to get a free account. Now having said that let's go move on with the video. Now over here as you can see I'm over here onto their main website ads.google.com. Now once we're over here what we'll do is we'll just simply quickly click on start now we can click over here or over here at the top right corner we can even sign in but since we are using a google product with our google id it shouldn't be a problem we'll just simply click on start now give it a couple of seconds for it to get started it's going to load up and over here this is how it looks like now there are basically two ways to use google ads now depending upon your purpose so first option is to go with the simple mode right here you just enter in your business name you complete these steps so first things first we'll just say uh, john's bakery there we go john's bakery then we'll click on next so there are basically two ways as i said before first we're going to do this so now what we need to do is we need to add in our website now we'll just simply click on next and over here it's going to give us a little view of our website and see how it looks like so on desktop it looks like this and on mobile this is how it looks like right people come here they click your ads this is how it's going to look like now we'll just simply click on next and over here what's your main advertising goal so get more calls get more website sales or leads uh, get more visits on your physical location get more views engagement on your youtube channel so for now we want this one then we'll just simply click on next all right so over here what we need to do is to write our ad so this is as you can see this is how it looks like now normally when you research something let's say we want to search wix right let's go ahead and search for wix so for here as you can see this little search option that says ads right here this means that this is an ad right they're promoting their own website this is how it's going to look like we're going to create something like this this is how it's shown right here over here we need to enter in our website designer you know headlines we have headline three it's pretty simple this is how it looks like website designer near you we can design your website a professional website as you can see right here so first what we'll do is we'll change it to our main website as you can see right here uh, we could choose anyone we want. We also need to add main headlines of our website. So website designer near you, a great website design. Check out our website now. Get a beautiful website made. We'll choose this one. We can design your website. That looks nice. Everything looks good. Then we just enter in our phone number that we want. We don't want to add a call number. So we'll just click on next. We don't need that. Now we need to enter in selected keyword theme. So over here, these are all the keywords that we have. We can go with depending upon what type of website you have and what type of ad you are creating, right? So let's say if it were bakery, you would have keywords related to that one. Since this is a Wix website, that's why it's giving me the Wix keywords. So what we'll do is we'll just add a bunch of different keywords right here. Uh, shopping website creator website designer online store builder yeah i think that looks good we'll get rid of the last one and we'll click on next that was the limit now we're going to choose the location where our ads are going to be displayed the more specific you add in your location the higher you would have to pay for your ads the more broader your location is the less you will have to pay this is how ads works right so advertise near an address or advertise in a specific zip code city or region so let's get rid of that and let's choose united states so if i choose the whole united states every single state then my ads revenue or the cost of my ads are going to be lessened because i don't have a specific location what if we were to add let's say new york right new york over here and we'll get rid of the united states and now i have a more specific location in mind so this is how it looks like as you can see now if i just choose that and click on next now over here as you can see this is going to be my estimated budget right here we can select a budget option right or we can enter our own budget so we have our daily average budget right here recommended for us and uh the higher tier budget so this is going to be your daily cost for your ads right so ten dollars per ad get an estimate of 40 to 100 ad clicks each month if you pay a little bit more you're gonna get 90 to 260 
forty dollars is gonna be one ninety to five hundred and thirty. Depends on you, but if you want to enter in your own budget over here, you can add set your own budget limit. So right now this is the daily average we are spending about 140,880 dollars monthly max as you can see but if we lower it let's say we go with ten dollars this is gonna be your roughly monthly max right 322 dollars this will allow you to get 50 to 140 ads which is weird because over here it's 40 to 150 but if we enter in i think it's because we have 0.6 dollars more but if we just enter in 10 yeah so typical competitor budget everyone sets it over here from anywhere around here depends on you this is the amount that you would have to pay in order to get or create your ads then we'll click on next now we have to review our campaign to see if it's right so for that we just enter in our locations we enter in all of the campaign goals what is our campaign goal you know as you can see we have everything we're reviewing our campaign this is our campaign name campaign goal is to get more website traffic website business name location and all of that and budget is going to be over here then we click on next and basically we go to the billing site then we just submit our payment method right here add in our payment method you know choose our billing address and all of that and then we submit and then our ads will be live now this is one way to use google ads now there is another way let me just show you for that i will need to go back all the way to the beginning right here let's go ahead and click on start now now this is a more of an expert view right so as you can see at the bottom it says switch to expert view this is how Google doesn't want you to know this. This is how you can access the Google ads, uh, all of their tools for free. You don't have to pay it. As you saw in the standard version, I would have to pay the amount that I had set. So now what we see over here, what is your business name, business optional, uh, page URL. This is a more, you know, detailed version, but it's essentially the same. And once you have filled out all of this, you will be able to access the Google ads tools as you can see right here once i have filled all that form given them all the information i will be over here as you can see i haven't paid my bills or anything like that but i can use google ads all of their tools i can use the keyword search tool everything so pretty simple this is how you use google ads and i hope you guys enjoyed this video again if you like this video you want to learn more about it click the link down in the description below to learn more about google ads and if you like the end video be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye